And with your family, now, you've written uh, Way of the Peaceful Warrior 30 years ago. Yeah. Have you had further revelations along the way? What are some of the other profound uh, messages that you can give to us from your experience? Well, I'll keep it practical. I like to do that. Um, you know, for example, uh, my relationship with my dear wife, we just had our 34th anniversary. It took me 20 years to, to realize that she wasn't criticizing me. She was improving me. <laughs> so little life lessons like that. Now you know? I can see why you're married for so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's life lessons like that, things that happen in daily life. Um, it took me many years also to realize that life is an experiment, that there's no best teacher, book, religion, exercise system, martial art, form of diet. There's only the best for a given individual at a given time of their life. So we need to experiment and find out what works for us. So self-trust and trusting the process of life unfolding has really been a key for me. So if I want to change my life, if, there, if I'm saying, you know what, I'm going to start practicing and focusing on what I'm doing and, and paying attention to it, what are some baby steps that people can take to change a behavior in their life? Well, you just said something very profound, and that word baby steps, we've all heard it. But the point is, many people are wanting to radically change, dramatically change, go to a weekend seminar and have their life completely turn around. We all look forward to those dramatic things. But really, I recommend to people, you know, if you want to dream big, that's fine, but start small and then connect the dots. If someone wants to change um, their diet, maybe eat one bite less at a meal, leave right. something on the plate. Small things make a big difference over time. So if you want to try to meditate, do it for 30 seconds, but do it every day for 30 seconds. To exercise, if someone wants to start doing regular moderate exercise, start with doing one jumping jack, and then two the next month. You can double your workout. The point is to start small, and these gestures grow into life. That's one key to actually making changes in life. And don't put so much pressure on yourself. Exactly. Because you'll blow up. And it doesn't last that way. So that's why it's good to start in small ways. And uh, over time, this does make a difference. I found that true in my life. Okay, what's the most exciting thing that's happening in your life right now? Apart well, from this interview. Yeah, apart <laughs> from this interview, that's what I was going to say, really, because it's right now. It's right in the now, moment. yes. Um, well, I'm working on a new book. I'm, I, I love doing that. I feel most on purpose when I'm teaching. And so I'm going to be speaking. Uh, uh, you know, that's what I do. I speak and I write books. So uh, a new book called The Four Purposes of Life, and that's going to be a real oh, useful there's four? Book to oh people. my gosh, I thought there was only one. <laughs> yeah. I better read the book. That's why people get confused, yeah. <laughs> and four moms and four women, they're always acting. But to think about their actions in a loving way and feel like they're making a difference is the most important thing, isn't it? It certainly is. And so many times we beat ourselves up. We look at what we haven't done enough. We do 26 things right, one thing wrong. What do we obsess on, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, it's very important to start with ourselves. Uh, Anne Truitt said it takes kindness to forgive oneself for one's life. So we all make mistakes. We have to realize that and accept ourselves as we would accept other people as well. Well, Dan, thank you for sharing your kindness with me My and pleasure. all this great inspiration and information for us. Really? And you can find all about Dan Millman on our website at momsonthemove.com.